Do you know what really goes on in the world? I'll tell you. <laughs> it's so funny. Rabbeinu Akadosh in Likutei Moran is explaining that the righteous man of the generation, he cannot live without contradictions, without machloket. He just cannot live. He doesn't have existence, he cannot exist, he cannot stay in the world unless people will fight with him, people will hate him, people will argue with him, people will try to do bad things to him. Without that, the righteous man cannot live. Why? Because he's so sweet. He's so sweet that everyone wants to taste from this sweetness and imagine to yourself the sweetest fruit around the sweetest fruit in the world which bird will not gonna try to 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 poke to eat it which which animal will not gonna put all of its power to climb all of the monkeys and cockroaches and flies everyone why because it's so sweet and so juicy and so Wow, satisfying, like they must eat more from that. And human beings, the worst, like they for sure are going to uproot that tree and going to plant it somewhere in FEMA camps. And uh, Why? Because it's so sweet. So, the Creator, he must create a fence to defend this fruit, the sweetness of the world. Yosef HaTzadik, that he's the righteous man of the generation. In every generation there is Yosef HaTzadik. There is man that he is Natir Brit, that he keeps that co covenant, the agreement with the Creator. He's the one that, that brings down the money for everyone. He's the one that brings the peace and the love and the harmony and the understanding. And the, there is a, a righteous man like that in every generation. Yosef HaTzadik. So the Creator, he must protect him. So what? How he protects him? If Yosef will stay with his brothers in his father's house, he will die over there. Why? Because then all of the brothers will attack him on daily basis and going to break his spirit. So what, Yos what Hashem needs to do with Yosef? He must exile him. He must send him away. He must create a certain argument, a fight on the back of Yosef that everyone will talk. No, he's a liar. No, he's a thief. No, he's betraying us. No, you don't know who he is. We must sell him. And then they're selling him. Really, they're betraying him. They're selling him to the Ishmaelim and to the Egyptians. And then he goes to somewhere else. And over there... You think, oh, how much he's suffering. No, that's his only chance to grow and to become who that is. That's the only way. That he will be in solitary, all alone, separated from all of his friends. Everyone are talking about him. He's got enemies. And then over there also, again, suddenly the wife of the minister is looking and thinking and another rumor and another conspiracy and sending him to jail. Why? To protect him. Why? Because of his beauty. Because that no matter where he goes, it's written on Yosef HaTzadik that when he was walking, women would see him walking and if they would peel fruits and vegetables, they would cut themselves and bleeding and wouldn't feel the pain. He was hypnotizing them. Women would look at him. Wow, look at him. They don't feel they're cutting themselves. They're bleeding now and they keep on cutting themselves. They're peeling their own skin, the Midrash is saying. Cannot, doesn't feel the pain, doesn't feel the, 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 the fact that they're, they're cutting themselves. Why? Because of his beauty. Which beauty? The beauty of the Creator that is not being blocked by him. He's the only one that is not blocking the light of the Creator. So it's fascinating. Everyone looking at him. Wow. Look at him. Look at the light. Look at that light. Now I'm working very hard not to talk about myself because now if I'm going to start talking about myself, you're going to all going to say, no, he's Yosef HaTzadik, he's talking about himself, so I'm not going to tell you anything. Why? Because you're weak in your minds and you cannot hear. So I'm not going to tell you what that I wanted to say. And I'm going to read to you Likutei Moran instead. You have weak minds. You have weak minds. Everything I'm going to say, you're going to, oh, yeah, Arab is saying, draw Moshe, yes, Kedem. 
Stop with your illusions. Listen, it's Torah. We're learning Torah. You don't need to try to taste from this sweetness. That's exactly what you're not supposed to do, to try to take from it for yourself. No. Oh, let's listen. No, yes, I'm close to him. Yes, I hear this Torah. Yes, I'm watching it. No, don't try to satisfy yourself now. Yes, I see. No, drop it. Drop the nonsense. Listen to the voice of Hashem. Voice of Hashem is telling you Hashem loves you. That's the voice of Hashem. All of what that we're saying is only ways to serve for you the wisdom that you can become 100% like Yosef HaTzadik. Moshe Rabbeinu is coming to his people and he's saying to them, what am I asking from you? To believe in Hashem, to have complete irah. So there's a question, Moshe, what are you saying? How can you tell us that it's an easy thing to be a Reshamayim, to have complete faith in Hashem? How can you say that it's easy? It's so hard. So the answer, a simple answer, Moshe Rabbeinu is telling his people, look, if I'm here with you, I'm your rabbi, so I can teach you. You know I have complete Yerat Shamaim. I have complete fear from heaven. My faith is complete. So learn from me, accept it from me. What's the problem? It makes the question even harder. That's not an answer. Moshe, so you know exactly how hard you worked to achieve that level. You remember how many years of your life you spent, how 